Uh, split call, uh, New Karaka, five minutes. Uh, kia ora, e te mana I take this uh, split call um, on the organised uh, crime and corruption legislation. S sir, um, if I could um, relate a, f a little bit about um, in a uh, past life um, working away from New Zealand, because I'm reminded of a um, very famous New Zealander who coined a phrase, you don't know how lucky we are. And, sir, that really does um, bring, uh, when you are overseas, sir, I went away uh, for two years but stayed 25 years. And in my uh, career uh, within the tourism industry, um, I visited or worked in every country in Eastern, Western Europe, with the exception of Albania. And so that is where I really did see a lot of corruption. And particularly the further south you got in Europe, um, the worse that it would become and the further east as well. I was there, sir, at the, um, at the aftermath or the finishing of the uh, Iron Curtain, the breakdown of the Berlin Wall, and then the influx of Eastern Europeans sir, coming to the West. And indeed, a lot of um, uh, what they brought with them, sir, was a style of living or life that they have had to endure within the Iron Curtain which was very much focused around living on your wits and living um, with corruption. Sir, it was interesting, um, even when travelling south, interesting stories that I could relate here to the House about organised crime and corruption. Things like, sir, if you work down in eastern, uh, in southern Europe, uh, you actually had to take a guide um, that you were given, sir, because it was under the control um, of a uh, interesting group which starts with M. And if you didn't take that, um, uh, that particular guide, sir, well, then you ran into immense difficulties further on down. Other things as well, sir, with the coach drivers, if they didn't actually park in the coach park that was run by these sort of corrupt organisations. One interesting story one night, sir, a colleague of mine, a driver, um, parked his coach in the, in the car park that he shouldn't have parked in, or the coach park, and he came back the next morning, sir, and he found he went to start his motor coach, sir, and it wouldn't start. He went to the back of the coach and he opened the back bonnet, sir, into the engine and there was no motor there. They'd taken the motor that night. That was the penalty for not parking. So all of these sort of corrupt practices, sir, that have actually gone on right across um, uh, outside of New Zealand. So order. The, the, the interest, the good order, thing here, sir. Order, order. Now, look, we're on a second reading speech, a debate, and just as I um, mentioned to the previous speaker, I'll refer the member to um, Standing Orders 110. On a second reading of the bill, discussion must be confined to the bill before the House. Now, this has been reported back from a select committee, and that's what we're focusing on. Anything outside that, while it may be interested, uh, interesting, can be referred to, but the focus of the bill, the substantive matter, must be what's in the bill as reported back. So, New Karako. Kia ora. It's a manafaka wa. So, sir, again, it is a privilege to live in New Zealand, and the main reasons are that one of the great things about our country is that on every international measure, we are considered to be one of the least corrupt countries in the world. Sir, there's no reason to sit back, though. And this is what this new legislation or this bill is about. We can't sit on our laurels and be complacent. That is not how this government does things, sir. So since uh, this government was elected, sir, the national-led government has kept up the fight against crime in our communities, and particularly against organised crime, which was my point before. Sir, we are also focused on making sure we remain a respected member of the international community, and that there is the, one of the most important factors. Doing our bit to prevent what is increasingly becoming, sir, a borderless issue. New Zealand is a member, sir, of the Financial Action Task Force, which sets international standards to help crack down on money laundering. Sir, this bill continues the good work of the government, which has already done, it has already done in passing Criminal Proceeds Recovery Act 2009, anti-money laundering, etc. Thank you, sir. I call uh, David Bennett.